Another Tesla has crashed and is autopilot to blame. Some dude in Japan uses his McLaren as a daily driver every single day. And Ford will offer thousands and thousands of option combination for those buying the new GT. Plus it's Friday, my friends. So you know I'll break it down with some rapid fire news. Isn't that right, Erica? Oh, 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 oh. That's what it sounds like. Oh. That, 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 Remy, you got it exactly right. What's going on, everybody? I am Derek D, giving you your daily dose of car news right here on Fast Lane. With fewer than 400 made, seeing a McLaren P1 is a pretty rare sight. Seeing one in Japan, where imported cars are kind of few and far between, even more so. Seeing one that's used on a regular basis is even more of a rarity. This vibrant green McLaren P1 belongs to Go Hiramatsu a lawyer based in Tokyo, Japan. While most P1s are likely used only occasionally, Hiramatsu-san uses it on a regular basis, commuting from his home to his office in the downtown Ginza district. And when the weekend comes, he pushes it to the limit like Scarface. You get that reference, Goldberg? I did. Okay, good. When he's not meeting up with other you know, owners and enthusiasts, he stretches the McLaren's legs around the Fuji International Speedway, once home to the Japanese Grand Prix, that McLaren has won more than any other team. Uh, good for him, you know, a car is meant to be driven. And a guy's name, his first name is Go. Yeah, so. Go goes. Obligated. In his green P1, you get what I'm saying? If you're one of the lucky ones who got a spot on the order list for the new Ford GT, you're gonna have some choices to make. For the first time, Ford is offering a choice of finishes for the calipers, you know, of course, that grip the GT's carbon ceramic rotors. They'll come standard in anodized black, but buyers will also be able to option it with you know, silver, gray, blue, orange, or red brake calipers. Yes, I know I'm aware the orange ones aren't in this picture. Obviously, depending on what color you get, you'll add a certain amount of uh, horsepower. Isn't that right, Erica? Yep. Yeah, not really. That's just the tip of the old car option iceberg, though. Are you ready? Come to do this fast. There will be eight exterior colors available, plus a choice of racing stripes and interior accents. The driver's side of the dashboard is kept largely free of distraction, rightfully so, but the passenger side and seat trim can be ordered in accent colors as well, with eight exterior colors, seven stripes, five wheels, five, five calibers, four interior color packages. So if you break that down, we're looking at 5,600 different combinations. 5,600 different combinations. Goldberg, that's a, lot to, that's, that's a lot of combos. And I'm not talking about a pretzel stuffed with simulated pizza flavor, you know what I mean? Or an Italian combo. Yeah, it's a lot. Those. <laughs> <laughs> Barely a week after the news of Tesla's autopilot system playing a role in a fatal Model S crash, an owner of the latest Model X says that his autopilot system caused his car to crash in Pennsylvania. Last week, the car was involved in a crash on the Pennsylvania Turnpike after hitting a guardrail before rebounding into a median barrier, and then it flipped and landed on its roof. The driver, Albert Scaglioni, AM Albert Scaglioni, <laughs> He's a well-known uh, local art dealer, apparently, and uh, he was uh, hospitalized along with his son, but they're okay, they're out of the hospital. Uh, Tesla is currently refusing to accept blame for the crash because they've been, able to, they've been unable to find any evidence if autopilot was or wasn't activated due to the antenna being damaged in the crash. Hmm, is that a loophole? <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like just because the antenna is damaged, they could still figure it out. Maybe if Tesla actually sends someone out to examine the car and look into the computer system, maybe they could figure that out. Yeah, time will tell. This is all new stuff. This autopilot accident stuff is, is in the news a lot lately. All right, let's pick up the pace for some rapid fire news. <laughs> oh. Good job, Remy. What was that, just like a, a pop of a bubble or something? All right, you ready? Here we go. Let's start with funny man Kevin Hart got himself a G65 to drive. It's a G-Wagon in an orange hoodie, straight short G-Swagon. Auto industry to spend $25 billion on cars that are autonomous because the consequence of accidents from this no-driving confidence could lead to incontinence and heavy lawsuits, so they need to spend the loot. Volkswagen infotainment systems of the future will be able to control all of your devices, even connected to your house in a crisis, even with home security for that extra safe reliability. This dude is a creep, straight up stole someone's Jeep by hacking in with his computer, caught on video, said the prosecutor, but his mom was like, but I thought my son was a real straight shooter. The number 11 Aston Martin Vulcan is going up for auction, so if you want it, act fast and start stacking your cash. This guy saves a sedan from a burning transporter truck slowly backing out giving absolutely zero f yes i know we bleeped it out because the kids is what fld is all about thanks for watching chicks and dudes and that'll do it for this edition of rapid fire dudes got through that one fast well done that was pretty good that's how i roll
Yeah. Goldberg. Yeah. So yeah, what happened was in that video, th there was th that was actually the driver of a transporter truck caught on fire. He actually went into the tunnel of fire to back one of the cars out. Yeah, I saw that. He saved one out of all. Hmm. Better than Ballsy. none, I guess. And he just slowly backed out. Like, he didn't even care. Yeah. All right, so a lot of autopilot talk going on lately, especially with recent accidents. So our FLD question of the day is, do you think autopilot will take all the driving responsibilities away from the driver? Okay, hear me out. Like, if you get into an accident while in autopilot, even in the future when cars, you know, it's way more prominent, okay? Are you or the car to blame? Now, insurance companies will have to rewrite all kinds of rules to still screw you out of them actually paying for it, of course. I mean, this is going to be a big thing. Think about this. Planes basically fly without a pilot, right? But there's still a pilot in there. Still watching. Yeah. So uh, let us know what you think. Use hashtag FLDQ of the D, and you can send a roan in to Remy. You know that? Uh... Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Oh, and real quick before we go, a little self-promotion. This Sunday, July 10th, I'll be performing at the Asbury Park Comedy and Podcast Festival at House of Independence in Asbury Park, New Jersey, headlining with Mike Polano, Joe Gatto from A Practical Jokers, Sal Volcano, and Brian Quinn from A Practical Jokers, Jim Florentine, Roy Wood Jr. from The Daily Show, and a bunch of other funny people. So uh, if you want to come see me, I would love to see a ton of FLD fans there. It would be awesome. Go to asburyparkpodfest.com. Thank you guys so much. And that's my little shameless plug. Yeah. Yeah, got some big names in there, man. And then your boy. Yeah. All the, a bunch of impractical jokers. Anyway, that's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today and this week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to check out thedrive.com for all your automotive article needs. Follow us on all our social media. I'm Derek D. Thank you for watching. And uh, like I said yesterday, buckle up, all right? You're going to be safe out there. So you guys can't tell right now, but the AC is so nice in here. But upstairs, it is just terrible. So like almost the whole drive crew is in here. Yay, everybody. Look at everybody. That's not even there. There's more way over there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we got Mike Spinelli, Lawrence Ulrich, there we go. Yeah, everybody's here. We got Will, Heather, Mike Guy, a bunch of people over there who don't care. <laughs>